Greetings and welcome to the Word Bible Software tutorial. This tutorial will be on the Bible Compare view. So let's open up the Word and in the Word we will see here just kind of a default layout. I'm going to go ahead and go over to where it says Compare. Now under Compare you can you have an arrow which allows you to arrange the modules from side to side as you can see here that kind of they're kind of like this along the along the side here or from top to bottom and you can look at them now this view is excellent for comparing different things going on we're going to narrow it down to just two English versions for right now I'm going to turn off my Greek version here I'm going to have the King James version and the net 2 Bible in this tutorial you'll be able to look here and you can see for God so loved the world and then it says for this is the way God loved the world so let's go on continuing on that he gave his only begotten son that he gave his one and only son that whoever believeth in him should not perish so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life but have everlasting life. You can see some differences in the way things are given and different things like that, and maybe how um, it's written out. Note here, also the notes will work throughout. The Strong's will work as well throughout. The Net Bible has that as well, so those are enabled. If you were to open uh, the Greek text here, let's add one in there. Let's go to the SBLGNT. And now we have as well we'll have some morphological input as well and we can look at some things like that this so this is a good one let's turn off the king james version for right now and we'll go over here and hit okay and so this is a good way if you want to work on learning maybe your greek in, as well as your english or maybe you're comparing different versions or, or different things like that and working down through them another thing here is is inside this view you have options to so you can different Bibles you can choose you can also save them as sets so for example I have the New Testament te set let's go into the Old Testament and let's go to Genesis chapter 1 you will notice that the SBLG and T does not have anything displayed because it's just a Greek New Testament let's go in here let's turn off that one let's turn on the WLC and the ABP and you'll see let's go OK should bring those up. I'm going to go ahead and save those. Say current set and hit OT and save that in. Now the ABP, if you look into it, is we'll look that up real quick so you can get a little bit of information on that. Is the Apostle Apostolic Bible Polyglot, and there's some inf things you can do there. Also the WLC. We'll go to Bible Info. It is the Westminster Leningrad Codex, and so let's return to the compare view, in which it loads up what we just had. Now we have English, Hebrew, and Greek, and you'll notice that the Hebrew is displays correctly, right to left, English left to right, Greek left to right. Um, the Apostle Bible Poly polyglot doesn't have as many accents or punctuations it's just part of how it was designed let's turn on a few things let's go back out here and go into info and it says we can turn on interlinear by pressing i so let's go back to the compare and let's turn on the interlinear so now in the beginning god made the heaven and the earth so now we can go through and compare these things also the tools if the WLC has anything enabled let's turn on the HISB instead because um, it has a few more built-in features and now we can go ahead and it has um, let's quite do that right let's turn this one on okay very good so now you can go through in here and you can look at this has any linear features it has some morpho morphological divisions some different things like that you can go into and also maybe you don't like how the order maybe you want your Hebrew text over here so go in here go to your Hebrew right here and move it up to the top of the list or and there you go now you can go ahead and you can start working down and you can do an in-depth study let's turn off uh, the interlinears and you can um, maybe you don't like those footnotes maybe it's making it a little bit hard for us press F now let's go away 
now we can start going down through and we can really start doing the comparison. Perhaps you want to have kind of the LXX or the ABP alongside the Hebrew. Now you can look down through these and you can get uh, some things what's going on. You have in Bereshith and so in Arakin and so and this is kind of like in the beginning or in the beginning here the beginning and the word God we would go a little bit further down here and then we have Elohim we can get into it here in, in Greek it's Hotheos because the articles included in this and, and the Hebrew has it built in as well bara so now we have epoi a sin to make or to do and here it's, it's kind of like to create or things like that so and you can go in here you got your direct object marker hashamayim heth Ha'aretz. So we have down here, Ha'aretz is the earth. So we have the earth. Ten gain. So you can get into here and you can really get into some in-depth studies. By the way, there are a few things that affect the, the compare view directly. Bible view has a general behavior and compare view options. So down here you'll see compare view options. You can arrange them in columns, in rows, one verse below the other for each translation. And we saw that over right here we can kind of do those things show floating header in compare view let's turn that off let's see what that does and so that takes away what the versions were up here let's go back again let's apply it again so it takes those away let's let's return that floating header and i, I let's see what it looks like in the row view oh, it's done a little bit different okay very good you can hide Bibles. You can change the color of the secondary row. Like maybe you like it really bright yellow. There you go. You could do that. I, I kind of like my my adjustments up to uh, where I can kind of it's gentler on my eyes. Go ahead and go okay. Apply. And maybe you don't want to use an alternate color every other one. So you can go do down some things like that. Um, and you can go through. And, and go ahead and study God's Word this way in depth. You can put, compare your English versions. You can go the drag mode here and kind of go down through it. Um, perhaps if you had another Bible view open, you could link it to the other Bible view. That's getting beyond the compare view options. But you can see this can be a very beneficial tool if you want it to keep in sync and you want to examine. I like using this even for when I preach on Sunday I might because I do a bilingual service from time to time or quite often. I'll have maybe an English version here and a Spanish version here and maybe Greek over here if I want to think about something over here or, or Hebrew or whatever it might. So, so these are some things to think through as you use the Word of God. I'm going to give you a little bit bigger um, view here. And using the Word Bible software, you can get into it and study the Word of God in depth using the compare view. Hopefully, this has been a helpful tutorial. And as you think about it, take some time and study God's Word and use the tools that are available to you. Pray you have a good rest of your day. God bless.